G'day my friends, this is Marty Ware here from youtube.com slash Marty's Garden with a veranda potted vegetable garden update. Now I haven't updated you guys for quite a long time and we've got some really, 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 really cool stuff going on in here. You can see in the background, if I go quick Marty, quick, give me a look, give me a look. Well, I'm going to take you around there now and give you a brief overview of what's been going down on my potted vegetable garden veranda in Australia. Just going to flip the whole thing over. Enjoy. So here we have the Tuscan self-watering container. Now this is overdoing, oh, doing much better in performance than the other tomatoes in the containers. It's getting higher yields and when I look into the actual water down the bottom in the reservoir there's roots hanging down into there and I'm putting down into there the worm liquid, so the worm tea which we like to call the vermiponics and we're getting a lot, a lot of tomatoes coming through here and they, they come through a bit later than the other pots but I'm getting much better growth and you know uh, this is a determinate tomato so it's not going to last too much longer but you know we will do quite well out of it from such a small pot that they're in. Now here's our second pot and he's only in a one of the old recycled ones that I found on the road and he's just sitting in a tray there and it doesn't seem to perform as well as this guy here which has got the grid that I've shown you in the other videos it's got the great grid there with the aeration and the roots can get down in there as well this one similar is in the same similar pot they're all in exactly the same potting mix um, he's in his last legs now uh, he'll probably only produce a few more tomatoes but you know it hasn't been too bad but the amount of effort that I've put into watering and uh, costs and things like that I really don't know if this this guy was worth it. His uh, brother next to him, he's not doing too bad either. But overall, you know, I've spent more on this container, this self-watering container, but I believe I'm gonna get just as much fruit off this one plant as off the two that are into the side beside it that are the brothers and the sisters. So, what do we recommend? Well, these self-watering containers definitely produce a lot more food, use a lot less water and get better results. Down the bottom here I've taken two cuttings from the plants from the sucker roots and they're about three weeks old now and they're just starting to root up so I'm just introducing them into the sun slowly to sun harden them they've been in indoors and uh, hopefully they will produce more fruit for me. Coming along we've got uh, some strawberries growing here they're just in the last bit some red pawpaws coming through. Now the short stocky ones are the females and the long tall ones are generally the males so they can spread their, their seed, their paws, spores over. We've got the climbing spinach, it's very slow growing. I don't think it's hot enough yet for the climbing spinach. Um, my yellow uh, chili, or what we call them capsicums here in Australia. It's got some type of maybe iron or uh, magnesium, some type of mineral deficiency I've got to look into and the self-watering um, tomatoes, these are the dwarf ones, are doing really really quite well and they're sitting in this vermiponics tea and I've just moved him over from a smaller container up into a bigger one because I was pretty happy with the results, it's doing better in that again because the roots can hang down into that water down and then get that liquid all the time and that nutrient all the time. I just made this one, this is another self-watering cont container that I just made and I've got the dwarf tomato in there as well. It's only been there a couple of days. The pots, now these are the pots for the dwarf tomato. So I've given the other ones to the community garden, which has just started again down the backyard, which is quite exciting. And we'll hopefully have a video about that coming up soon. Got some sweet basil come up in the compost. And so they're not doing as well as the self-watering containers. And again, they're just sitting in trays. Uh, I've slowed up a bit on the microgreens. Here's the, um, this is the sorrel and we've got our cress here as well and then coming up here we've got our red sorrel which I really like it's a beautiful sour taste but they tell me it's the summer months this is going to get more bitter and it tastes better in the winter time but you know it's so easy to grow and I'm going to look into some type of system soon um, for growing these microgreens easier such as something to do with the vermiponics and a little pump but I'm still working on that and um, I'll let you know if that comes to fruition some more strawberries, they're called pinkies because they get a nice pink flower. Now what I've done here is I've actually bought another smaller container, a self-watering container, and I've 
splashed out and bought one of the ones with the good grids again I haven't bought the cheapos for this in the tray so I'm finding the ones with the grids get much better results and uh, these have been regularly watered with the vermiponics from the worm farm we're coming through here I actually bought a uh, cherry tomato from the market the other day it's called a Tommy Toe some like called Tommy Tims I think but we're interested to see the size of the the cherry tomato that I get and um, these are indeterminate I believe so uh, it'll keep growing onwards right through the whole summer for me now this is the exciting stuff this has been the test for the vermiponics bed for my lettuce and you know we've got all types of stuff growing in here all different types of lettuce that we can just pick off from the sides and what I'm finding is, is it's not going bitter as we're as it's bolting to seed and so I've still been able to eat this leaf it's been beautiful and it's, as you can see it's so fresh and green and it's all because of the, the really good container as well so it's got the self draining container with the grid down the bottom I've used a very a premium potting mix and the vermiponics is just you know just look at the growth and then you can see for yourself uh, the avocado tree has come back into action now after it's uh, heavy pruning and I'll be talking some more about that in the future. The Brazilian cherry tree is growing really well. We'll come over and I'll give you a look at the worm farm. I just, I just put the liquid in there and to uh, run through to get the vermiponics from my garden. And the, a lot of the worms would have ran down because I just watered it, but it's quite thick in here still of worms and now I just put some uh, more cow manure in there old dried cow manure and organic stuff and they just come up before I watered that there was thousands there but they just ran down because I've you know I've just took and taken half a bucket full and ran it through so they like to hide back down the bottom again the seedling reed avocado trees that big round fruit is doing absolutely fantastic since I put it in one of these large big self watering containers with the grid system it's just look it's just overall outperforming everything else these type of containers and also you know like of course it's got new potting mix and it gets fed with some vermiponics from time to time and you know I've got a little drip feed water thing in here that I tested um, that runs for about two days it just drips away and feeds the plants so if I go on holidays which I actually did go on holiday I didn't tell you guys I was away for three days and nothing went wrong with this garden at all now this probably will touch the roof um, in the next few months maybe that might be my guess all right so let's finish up for the day and I'm just going to flip the camera over and there we have it it's been uh, pretty exciting getting this uh, spring well it's not really a patio garden it's more of a veranda garden uh, on the Gold Coast here in Tweed Heads and I absolutely love being out here and growing this you know like um, just you know, I get to pick from these nasturtiums and all this le fresh lettuce I've got fresh lettuce coming through all the time you know uh, the strawberries the tomatoes uh, it's just it's just so cool being able to grow this in such a small space now what I'm finding is that if you can have a worm farm with one of these uh, these self-watering containers that have got the grids at the bottom and the airflow you are going to have wonderful results just like I'm having here so what I want you to do is I want you to subscribe to Marty's Garden on YouTube and look follow me here I've, I've also come up with other ideas that you'll see implemented through the channel and you'll get to see at what I am doing also because yeah, I'm the real deal here I'm having a real go at doing this and I actually really love doing it and you might even see me eat some of these guys in the very near future okay i'm marty ware from youtube.com slash marty's garden and happyhouseandgarden.com have a great day and i love you all happy gardening bye hey this is marty ware from marty's garden i hope you enjoyed that video and you got lots from it Please share it with your friends and before you go, subscribe so you can see more videos from Karen and myself and also 
Click on the link down below once you've done all that in the description box and head over to happyhouseandgarden.com. It's your social site for you. Yes, you can share all your images. You can make a free website as long as it's in the house and garden niche. Share it on Facebook, Pinterest, whatever you like and have tons of fun along the way. And I'll see you over there because I'm in there every day. Happy gardening.